All right, here we go. Build day one for Wrigley Field, the start of the entire project. I'm going to start by drawing the field. I'm going to draw it just on a regular white piece of paper before I glue it down to the, the piece of cardboard that acts as the base. I do this, I print a picture off of Google Maps, and then I'm just tracing it. Um, you saw I was sitting on top of my laptop screen to use that as like a light box. Some of you might be cringing that I'm damaging my laptop, but I'm not pressing down very hard at all with that pencil because I am going to be erasing all these pencil marks after I go over them with Sharpies. So now's a good time to remind you to hit that subscribe button so you get regular construction updates. Uh, my next video, I'm going to be out of town on Monday and Tuesday, so I don't know if I'll be able to post another one until maybe Wednesday or Thursday. But I will be starting on the grandstand, which will be a fun thing to watch, I think, for, for you all. So here you go, I'm making the final touches, uh, the pencil marks, and now I'm just going through with Sharpies and drawing in the infield. This is obviously the permanent part, and once I go through, I erase the pencil marks because I don't need those on there. It's not going to look very good if I left the pencil marks there. And one more shameless plug, uh, follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook so you'll see notifications whenever I put up a new video uh, for construction updates. Here you see I'm going through with this fine tipped green marker. I'm drawing the foul lines. I don't have a white marker, so I kind of got to um, draw the white foul lines by not drawing anything on the foul lines and just leaving the white paper exposed. I think further down the road, I might get some sort of white pencil or some white out or something to do stuff like that. But as of right now, I'm trying to do it this way. Wrigley Field is actually kind of interesting. We all know that like old ballparks aren't symmetrical, and you know Wrigley's not symmetrical, but after I wrote it down on this piece of paper and you actually look at it, you realize just how almost lopsided it is, and how I think that's really cool because you don't really see that so much in new ballparks. And if you do see it, it's not as organic. And what I mean by that is the reason Wrigley Field is lopsided is because they had to cram, cram it into this city block. They don't really have a choice but to make it lopsided. Whereas nowadays they do it just for, they do it on purpose basically. So if it's on purpose, that would mean it's not organic. So here I'm going through with the fine tip pens and drawing in the little corners uh, because the thicker Sharpies won't draw as into those corners as well, might bleed a little bit more. And now I bring out the big old Sharpies. Um, <clears throat> starting first with the warning track just going all the way around the ballpark coloring in the warning track. Wrigley Field is actually built for a Federal League, if you ever heard of that, the Federal League uh, ball club. It wasn't actually built for the Cubs. I don't think the Cubs played in Wrigley Field for a few years until after it was built. Some of you might be able to comment and expand on that. I should have maybe done some research before I started doing this video. Um, now kind of what I think is the more pleasing thing to watch with this video, I'm drawing the grass. And as you can see, I'm drawing straight lines up and down and every once in a while I'm pulling out my envelope to make sure they're straight again. That's just so it looks more like a mowing pattern. If I were to just randomly color them in, I don't think it would look like a mowing pattern. It might look a little blotchy. And then this is something I think is really cool and something I'm really proud of how it turned out, drawing the mowing lines. So, you know, when you watch a ball game and You've probably maybe done it on your own sidewalk or your own uh, front yard before where you, you mow a certain direction and it makes some of the grass look bright and some of the grass look darker. Um, that's what I'm doing here. And I really only do it by, I'm using the same color green Sharpie, but I'm doing a second layer so that makes the grass appear darker as I fill it in. All right, as we end the near this mini, one more reminder. Uh, my next video, I'll be making the grandstand. You can expect that to come out sometime, probably in the middle of next week. When you see the Paper Stadium's logo up here in the corner, go ahead and hit that to subscribe. And if you want to hit this with a like, comment, ask some questions, go for it. I would love to hear back from y'all. Have a good week.